Hello, today's video we have the following content. Wang Yibo sued and the verdict was awarded. On the afternoon of March 28, the well-known entertainer Wang Yibo sued Zhu Mao Mao for infringement of reputation rights, and the hearing was held in Waxi Binhu Court. The reporter learned that in July 2022, the defendant Zhu Mao Mao posted a derogatory statement involving the plaintiff Wang Yibo in his WeChat moments. Later, screenshots of the moments were forwarded to various online platforms in large numbers, and Wang Yibo sued him to court. Waxi Binhu Court stated that first of all, no organization or individual may infringe the reputation rights of others by insulting and slandering. WeChat Moments is also a public communication platform. WeChat users are not allowed to post content that infringes on the rights of others in WeChat Moments. In this case, the defendant had no objection to the use of WeChat ID. The defendant argued that the comments made in his circle of friends were legitimate comments to supervise and criticize public figures, and the court did not accept this argument. In addition, the defendant also argued that his circle of friends was posted in groups, with a visible range of 200 people, but the evidence he provided was insufficient to prove the specific settings of the circle of friends involved in the case. Later, the circle of friends was forwarded to a public network platform by others, causing a huge impact. The defendant should bear corresponding legal responsibility for his actions. The court stated that the screenshots of moments posted by the defendant in this case were forwarded in large numbers on multiple online platforms, with a high number of views and dissemination, which had a huge negative impact on Wang Yibo, and the defendant should bear the responsibility for eliminating the impact. In the end, the Waxi Binhu court ruled that the defendant Zhu Mao Mao should immediately delete the content in moments related to Wang Yibo published on July 11, 2022 after this judgment takes effect. The defendant posted an apology statement at the top of his WeChat moments within seven days. The moments were set up to be visible to everyone and published for no less than 10 days. If the defendant fails to issue a statement as required, the court will publish the apology statement on a national news website at the defendant's expense. The defendant published an apology statement in the People's Court newspaper, and the publication costs were borne by the defendant. In addition, the defendant shall compensate the plaintiff Wang Yibo for mental damages of 40,000 yuan and attorney fees of 30,000 yuan within seven days after this judgment takes effect. Wang Yibo's other claims were dismissed. Sudan, a judge of the first civil division of Waxi Binhu Court, said that this case is a typical online reputation infringement dispute. The defendant posted a derogatory statement about the plaintiff in his WeChat moments. Later, a screenshot of the moments was a large number of messages were forwarded to various online platforms, and the plaintiff filed a lawsuit in court, demanding that the defendant delete the relevant content in moments, apologize, and compensate for mental damages, salatium, and economic losses. Pen Yangxiang, judge of the First Civil Division of Waxi Binhu Court, said that now, there are more than 1 billion netizens in China, and tragedies caused by online violence have also occurred from time to time in recent years. In September last year, the Supreme People's Court, the Supreme People's Procuratorate and the Ministry of Public Security jointly issued the guiding opinions on punishing internet violence violations and crimes in accordance with the law. Pen Yangtze Ang reminded that whether it is on a semi-public carrier like Moments or a public carrier like Weibo, netizens must pay attention to their speech, and their speech must be rational, objective and true, and do not touch the moral and legal bottom lines, otherwise they will be their relevant legal responsibilities.